Alright everyone, so here's the comment that started this video. Something I don't understand is in your parent class, super class, you have two variables, x and y. Why didn't you, or why don't you, have two sets self.x equal to x and self.y equal to y? Obviously it worked without doing that, but I thought you had to do that. Um, this was left by a cold stone wall. And here is the reasoning for it. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how basically the self.x or self.variable, whatever you want to call it, um, works in classes. So the example that uh, Colstone Wall was talking about in his comment was that basically um, in the class that I used, I just said, I just defined one f method in the class and basically just said take the variable, uh, right away it said take variable x and variable y, um, multiply them together and return that value. But a lot of times what you'll see is like, you'll see a class, and we'll have this one called example self, and then object or whatever, and then it'll define the function, let's say uh, exponent, I think it might have spelt that wrong, probably did, then it'll say self, comma, x, comma, y, and then they'll start defining it. And a lot of times you'll see someone say self.x is equal to x. And then self.y is equal to y. And this is really good practice. You should always do that um, for the most part. The reason I didn't is because I didn't really need to in that case. See, once you do that, you would then type like return self.x to the power of self.y. Uh, now this is fine, it works perfectly, but uh, if we were to make something like A is equal to um, example self and then A dot um, exponent and then let's say 6 and 2, we get 36. Everything works fine. What really goes on here though is that basically right as we uh, assign this to that, basically a becomes self so the object the self refers to the object of the classes and the class at this moment is a this is the um this is what the class is equal to or what what's equal to the class so it's a is the instance of the class we're using so self just points to the <coughs> excuse me self just points to whatever is the instance of the class in this case a then we have um exponent and even though we're and it has self in there too, but even though we're calling a dot exponent blah blah blah, what we're really doing is calling um, basically like example self and then exponent and then inside the exponent we're putting a and then uh, comma six comma two, which is basically how that works. But um, the real part that he was talking about was why didn't you assign these to self.x and so forth? Well, it's because I wasn't planning on doing like self.x, which is equal to 6. We signed it here. We didn't really need this, and the reason that this becomes helpful when you're making classes is that if another method uses, the, you want another method to use the same variables, you want to put self.x so that self.x will be um, the same throughout the entire class instance. In this case though, in that case though, what I did was I didn't define self.x like I did in this one because I didn't uh, need uh, to make a, um, a variable for the entire class object. I only needed it for one method because all I defined was one method. Basically though, if you were to call the constants like I just did here, uh, we have 6 and 2 and this will stay the same throughout the entire class but if we look through like class example uh, no self object and then we do def exponent and then self x y and you do always need to define self first I didn't mean like we're not going to put self in there at all you have to put self in there because it's saying we're calling all this on the ob the uh, instance of the class, the object. Then down here we're going to say <coughs> return oops, return uh, x 
to the oops, x to the power of y. And now if we did b is equal to example no self and then we did b dot exponent uh, 6 2 we'd still get the same answer 36 why well because it does the same thing we still have the same variables and everything we just didn't define self dot um, x and self dot y because it wasn't being used in other mod uh, in other methods so we didn't need to it's just less coding but if we were to make a third class so um, let's say multi methods so this one will have more than just one method in it we'll define exponent like we did in the other ones self dot x y and then return well first let's say self dot x is equal to x and self dot y is equal to y and then return self dot x to the power of self dot y and then let's define another one this one will be subtract and let's say we want to use the exact same um, variables as we did before all we have to do is uh, have it take the parameter self uh, self and then just say um, x well return x minus y oops my bad not we have to say self dot x minus self dot y because we're referring to the self object its constants so like if this was a like up here we'd be saying return self dot x which was six so return whatever the x value is for this um, instance minus this variable for this instance and we finish that and we were to do c is equal to uh, multi methods and then we oops hmm C is oops not X C is equal to multi methods not what I put up there and then we do C dot um, exponent and then six two we get the same answer now if we do C dot subtract and then just Oops, gosh, I am typing badly today. Subtract. Make sure I did that right. Okay, enter. We get 4, and 6 minus 2 is 4. And we didn't put any parameters in there. If we did, it would give us an error. Also, another thing to note, if we were to do something like D is equal to multi-methods, we... Oh, I'm doing the same thing again. D dot mol t methods there we go oh my gosh d is equal to my bad guys multi methods and then we did d dot um, subtract right away we'd get an error because self dot x and self dot y are not defined attribute x of d is not defined anywhere but if we were to do like d dot x is equal to 4 and d dot y is equal to 6 and then we did d dot subtract we get negative 2 because we defined the attributes right there so you can also refer to them that way but you also have to make sure that if you don't ref um, assign them right away like that that you have to call the other method first which was um, exponent right there and um, that's pretty much the basics of it um, if you haven't figured this out yet, we'll make one more uh, multi-method. Uh, we'll call this one multi-methods x, and object, blah, 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 def, and then exponent, and then self x, y, return uh, x to the power of y, and then we did def, um, subtract and then x minus y oops my bad colon oops my bad again self and then return uh, x minus y or even self 
uh, dot x um, minus self dot y unless we haven't unless we have assigned those selves um, this won't work because if we were to do um, e is equal to multi uh, methods x <coughs> and we were to do e dot um, exponent and do six and two and we did e dot subtract we'd get an error because there's no x defined so you have to make sure that you put self somewhere and if you didn't define it in the first one you have to define it in the second one somehow because otherwise it won't work just like if you tried calling this before you called this since this did not um, wasn't called first however you can make it so that that is always called first and that is the uh, I'll give you another example example in it and then you just say object def underscore underscore in it underscore underscore self and then comma x comma y then you say self dot x is equal to x and self dot y is equal to y and basically it'll make it so right away you just put x and y into here when you're assigning the class instance and it will call this function before anything else no matter what you can't stop it from happening and this is called a well it's basically a constructor for python so if it has two underscores in front and two underscores in the back it's a constructor and it will be called whenever a method is called in it is always called first and then there's also underscore underscore str underscore underscore which is like calling the string method and or like printing something it's automatically returned unless there's a default one for the object but we might get into that later not in this tutorial too much stuff to cover anyways so now we can go down here and say def um, exponent self and just say self dot x and uh, well my bad return self dot x and to the power of self dot y then we do f is equal to example in it and then six two and we get thirty six so that's pretty much how that works i hope this answered anyone else's question you had the same as a uh, coastal coalstone wall and uh... yeah thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments section below if you like the video please like it it always helps subscribe for future videos and i'll see you next time